in that most famous of psalms. There you go. <laughs> the 23rd Psalm. The 23rd Psalm. And uh, if certainly you may know it by heart. And it, it reads this way. It says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You have anointed my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and loving kindness will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Certainly there are, in the King James Version, there are a few words that are different. Uh, loving kindness uh, is, uh, is, is translated as mercy. Uh, but but the, the message is there. And uh, we are going to attempt to unpack this uh, using as a guide, uh, what else do you need besides Jesus? What else do you need besides Jesus? Surely each of us uh, in this place has, has, has been in a place where we needed someone to guide us through a given hardship. Maybe it was some mistake that you made and you needed someone to give you advice. Uh, maybe if you were into sports, you were trying to improve your game and you needed uh, a coach or a better player to give you the benefit of their experience. Uh, maybe, maybe you needed some kind of relationship advice. Maybe it was just something that you didn't know how to handle in, in, the, in the midnight hour and you call up a friend and, and you ask them to, to, to give you some, some of their wisdom to help you through this situation. Uh, typically, when we struggle with decisions, it is, it is because we are concerned about the outcome of events. Amen. We wonder about how our family is going to make it. We analyze to see which option in our life would be better. We ask, uh, if I take this job as opposed to that job, will it pay me a better salary? If I dress this way or that way, will I make a better impression? Uh, uh, even though I'm spending 30 minutes to pick out my outfit, is it really going to make a difference? What must I do to, to attract friends? If I go for this job, will they be impressed by my interview? We, we wonder what we can do to influence, combat, and otherwise, otherwise avoid our enemies. These are all questions that require physical, emotional, and intellectual energy. We have to spend time on these things, and, they, and, they make, and make no mistake, they sap our energy. And unfortunately, the, the only guarantee from dwelling on them is, is either heartache, uh, or headache, or upset stomach, and in some cases, extreme cases, even maybe some counseling. But where is the alternative? What are our choices? The 23rd Psalm is an illustration of the believer's relationship with Jesus Christ. And therein, in that relationship, it shows us what our choices are. It shows us that, that we don't 
have to struggle with these things if we don't want to. What this, what this message of this passage is today is that the Lord loves us so much that if we allow ourselves to be guided by him, he will provide us with everything we 